I was born in Vancouver, British Columbia, in 1923. My parents were from Japan, so I grew up with the Japanese language. I went to the United Church Missionary Kindergarten, where they taught English and prepared us for school. Even at four, I enjoyed learning and wanted to attend the Japanese school. My father passed away when I was ten. My mother, unsure of how to care for my brother and me, wanted to return to Japan. Relatives encouraged her to stay and use any money she had to educate us. I remember having to write to an uncle in Japan, telling him about my life in Canada and thanking him for encouraging us to stay. I wrote my letters in Japanese, which I hated then. Now I'm thankful since speaking Japanese helped me when I was older. People laughed at my mother because she was a widow with no money and no prospect for a job. She struggled so hard to send my brother to university. My mother believed strongly in education and succeeded in sending me to high school. And my brother to a university. People in the camp told me not to expect to find a job because I was a Japanese woman. But after high school, I got a job with the BC security in the camps. My knowledge of the Japanese language was imperative for working with the evacuees in the camps. When we moved to Montreal, I remembered my mother's ideas about education. And I knew I had to work hard and persevere. My love for education gave me the opportunity to share my passion and knowledge of Japanese customs and lifestyles with the community and the younger generations. I am very fortunate for all the opportunities I have been given in my life, and I am very grateful for all the people I have met. Life has taught me to look for the best in each person. That you meet, and there is always something to learn. I am especially thankful for my life here at Momiji, where I continue to enjoy learning.